Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18. So in our last video, we finally, after spending uh, quite a while in this top right hand corner of the map, we finally got over to a couple of other areas and opened up some additional sites. But you can see from the bus stops over in, in this area, any routes that we design around these are going to be sort of a, a long distance route. I mean, these routes might have had, we might have traveled a long way, but we were essentially going within a few blocks of each other, just as what you would expect uh, near this type of a business park. However, now that we started to stretch it out a little bit, and as we can tell here from our current objectives, what they really want us to do is start spreading out and get, you know, hit a few stops over here, a few stops down here, and then a few stops uh, in the newer area up in here. So, with that in mind, um, I've got several things that I really want to test in this game that I'm, uh, because that's really what I am. At my heart, I am a tinkerer. So, with games like this, I really love to get in and just play around with different things, see what works, and see what doesn't. That's really what I enjoy. Um, and if you've been with me in my other uh, gameplay or Let's Play series, you'll know that I do that in basically every game I play. It's where I get... Uh, some of my most enjoyment from a game. So after this video, I plan on doing some of that. But there are a few things that I want to let you guys know ahead of time. So first of all, next time we meet, um, I'm hoping that we will have earned quite a bit of money because, again, the great thing about testing in this game is even when things don't go all that great, you still earn a nice amount of money. And that, of course, is going to give us the ability long term to purchase more buses, hire more uh, drivers, which of course in turn is going to make us even more money. So it starts to snowball for us and, and turns into a really great thing. But some of the things that I'm thinking about uh, that I want to test is if I put uh, multiple identical routes uh, and they are literally identical, same number of stops in the same order and everything. Now in real life, you would think, well, you could you might be lining up two, three, four buses at the same stops, and that really wouldn't be ideal. You'd want to, at the very least, spread those out uh, at different times and that kind of thing. But I just want to see, does that work? Like, does the game, how complicated and how in-depth is the system in the game to determine how many passengers we have available at certain stops? Because, you know, it if it's just a very basic system, and, and it's always going to give you the same number of passengers, then you can just simply load this thing up and use very few different routes and just have, you know, three or four or five of the same route and continue to make good money from it. Uh, but just different things like that. How, how much does the time of day affect how many passengers you get? We have seen that it appears uh, that it does have some effect, but I want to run more tests just to see just how much of an effect does it have or is it more of a random thing or sometimes it has an effect sometimes it doesn't same thing with the rain when it's raining do you get more or less passengers it seems like we've been getting less but again just some testing to do that and of course I'll do all that off camera because really what I want to focus on in our videos is let's do the new gameplay let's let's find out new stuff set up new routes and do all of that sort of thing and I'll do the testing uh, off screen, but I do still want to do it here uh, rather than doing setting it up in a, a different company on a different save because I like keeping everything in the save. And of course, as I mentioned, it has the benef added benefit that we're just simply going to make more money. Uh, but the one thing I don't want to do off camera is do anything that will trigger these objectives and move the gameplay forward. So looking forward to doing that because I'm hoping in today's video we can take care of the remaining three objectives. We'll get our 60000 of uh, bonus money, and then we unlock ads. So I'm really interested to see how all that works. And then, of course, possibly the biggest part of this is that we unlock yet another area. It says the eastern area. I'm not sure. Maybe that means over here by the port. Or it could mean the eastern area of Old Town. I have no idea. We'll just have to see how that goes. Uh, but so let's go ahead and get started on that. So right now the first one is pretty simple. Let's go ahead and pin that one. Uh, drive it in a round trip mode. So it's talking about this one that we set up most recently in our last video. So let's go ahead and get that one lined up. 
and I am going to be using, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and use our biggest one. Now, one thing I do want to point out, if you remember whenever we actually purchased uh, this ride, we I couldn't get in to actually uh, add any sort of a paint scheme or anything to it, uh, but I did do that off camera real quick, just went in there and tried to make it similar to uh, what we have on our other buses. So that's kind of what I did just to save us a little bit of time. Uh, we need to do this on round trip mode and everything else we will leave this alone let's see everything else i think is good i'm gonna leave this on uh day mode for right now again i really like using the random feature but if i if it turns out that that really is affecting the amount of money that we make then that's going to change my mind about this because obviously we want to to make as much money as we can all right let's go ahead and get everything set up I also plan on, there we go, I also plan on uh, trying to change this, this view a little bit. I'm not liking our, our view while we're actually driving, and I want to stay first person on this because I really enjoy driving from this view, but it is a little troublesome because I feel like I'm way too, too far in the air, but again, I'll do that off camera since I don't know how much testing I'll have to do to find what I'm looking for. So we'll save our time here to do uh, new things. All right, wow, we got several people that look like they want to do some new tickets. All right, there we go. Looks like we are good. Let's hit the F3 key. All right, after all that, you would think we'd have more passengers in here, but apparently everybody that got on board actually needed a ticket. All right, I see somebody at the risk of being late. Okay. Looked like that lady almost needed to uh, to get on the bus there for a second. So we're running a little bit behind schedule right from the beginning, but if you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, it does show that we've got, you know, about 29, 30 seconds left to get to our next stop, which is right around the corner all right let's see if i can take this turn and okay i'm always worried about hitting those poles when i make those corners but we came out good there all right let's go ahead and i'm guessing right about there is where we need to stop okay looks like we got a few people getting off and all right we need some tickets let's take care of that real quick and you need a senior ticket please have no you do not have exact change not even close there we go another ticket there we go doesn't look like there's anybody else in line let's hit f3 f2 okay looks like we are in good shape let's get the doors closed and we will be off and running let's give a chance for the traffic to come by yeah it looks like anytime I turn on uh, the blinker to come out of a bus stop then it does appear as though the traffic comes to a stop to allow me in okay I also wanted to double check on our speed limiter because if you remember last time, we actually had a, a speeding ticket, and I would assume it was coming through an area like we just did, where the speed limit actually slowed down, but because I wasn't on the gas uh, as we were going down a hill, maybe that's what it was. Who knows, but either way, we're going to try not to do that again, because that takes some of our money away, and we want to keep as much of it as possible. All right, exact change. Excellent job. All right, single, regular. I think I got that right. There we go. Looks like everybody is on. Yes. Let's go ahead and close up the doors. And now we will head out. So we got a left-hand turn. 
Right, that looked like that was a pothole. All right, now I got to figure out how on earth I'm going to get across right here without getting hit or hitting anybody. All right, I don't see anybody coming from the left. We've got one person there on the right. And I think we're good to go. Not sure. Either way, we're going. Okay. All right, so we didn't hit anything. That is a huge bonus. All right, there we go. Let's see. Yep, more tickets. You guys like these tickets today. All right, a day, senior, two of them. Okay, number next. Single, senior. All right, who's next? Let's see what you got. Single, regular, and just one. Oh, wow, he needs a lot of change. Trying to be really careful about how I hit these change buttons. Because in the past, that has not turned out so well for me. All right, let's pull back out and... Oh, passenger needs to leave. No problem. We'll pull over as far as I can. All right, are you getting off? Yeah, there you go. All right, if they'll let me know real quick like they did then, that will be perfectly fine with me. All right, now our next opportunity. Ooh, I can see some graphics popping in or drawing in in the background. That is that is not fun. Okay, will we ever be able to get across? Doesn't look like there's much coming. Well, there wasn't much coming from the right. Now we got several. And maybe eventually we can get across. Okay, after this big truck, we're good on the left. And I think we're good on the right. There's the big truck. Okay, we're taking off. If we get hit, then that will be very bad. Let's don't do that. Okay, I think we're good. I just wait to get hit every time I do that. All right, so once again, even though we're traveling uh, greater distances, uh, we don't seem to be very far between stops. And of course, you might remember this is the stop from the tutorial mission that had our, our instructor. She got very excited. All right, more tickets. So we got day ticket, regular, two of them. All right, looks like that's everyone. And all right, well, it looks like we're good. Let's head out. Trying to keep an eye out on my time, but the simple reality is that on this time, if you have guys that need tickets, especially if you have two or three. Oh, that was pothole, that was me. Yep, hit a pothole there. Wasn't paying close enough attention. So they're going to ding me for that. But whenever you have multiple people that need a ticket, it's kind of hard to uh, get that done as quickly as the clock would like for you to. All right, let's try to get out here before this car comes. And of course, it's going to come right toward us. So we are headed out into the business park again. And once again, we're going to want to turn to the left. So we're doing this one as a round trip. So this will be a little bit different than what we've done in the past and what we did in our last video. But this is their way of introducing us to the concept of 
of round trips and I'm sure that coming up here pretty soon they'll probably show us uh, that we can do a reverse route or you know anything along those lines I'm sure some of those things are coming alright so far so good frames per second holding pretty steady aside from that one issue we had toward the end of a video trying to drive back all the way to uh, the bus garage other than that we've really been in pretty good shape it's I keep an eye on it it's around anywhere from 50 to 60 frames per second when we get in this type of an area around all these buildings uh, it seems to slow down the most so we got these large buildings that it's trying to draw in I guess that's what's doing it but even during then it still sticks above 50 and for the most part pretty close to 60 all right, I'm going to try to take care of these tickets as quickly as I can. Okay, exact change. Thank you very much. All right, you want a day. Oops, there we go. All right, looks like we are done there. Let's check outside. All right, I think we're in good shape. Turn our blinker on. And I see in my mirror that looks like one of our other buses that is over across the street. And if I see one of our buses, that means... Oh, whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. I just realized we have the, the yield sign here, so... I almost missed it. All right, looks like we've got. We're gonna have to honk the horn here. There we go. Get that car out of our way. It looks like we got some passengers waiting on us. I like this. Okay, looks like we got some folks that maybe are not getting on. All right, still nowhere near uh, capacity here. So it looks like we could probably get by with a smaller bus, but again, that's one of those things I don't know how much the size of the bus actually matters to the number of passengers that we can draw. So many variables, and I just don't know exactly how in depth they've tried to make this system. of economics in this game. Okay, this is not good. We are way too close here. Woo! I have no idea how I just made it around that corner. Yeah, how we made it around that corner without hitting a bunch of things, I have no idea. Alright, now I feel like I'm going too slow over these things. Like, we could possibly get by with going faster, but I have no idea how fast we could go, so I just slow way down. Okay, looks like we got another turn coming up to the right. All right, I don't see anybody coming, so we're going to hope for the best. All right, there we go. So we're skipping past this stop, which feels weird since there are people standing there. Kind of makes me wonder what would happen if I went ahead and stopped there. With it not being on my route. All right, let's see what we got here. Try to take it as wide as I can. And, all right, I don't think we hit anything. All right, and... Next stop here on the right. This might actually be our final stop. Okay, nobody needs a ticket. I like that. 
Okay, let's see what we got. Still, yeah, we're still nowhere near capacity here. We've got one person sort of standing next to the bus, but they don't appear to be getting on. All right, yeah, that was our final stop. So now we start the the trip back over to our very first stop. So that'll be the round trip portion. So now, yeah, we'll head back where we started. And if it'll be as smooth sailing as this the whole way, that would be wonderful. But of course, as you can see on the mini map or the GPS, uh, we got some turns to make, which always makes this just a little bit hairy. All right, there we go. I know we got a big truck right there. He's trying to give me some room. All right, we all made it. Okay, any other. Anytime I see those signs off to the right there, makes me wonder, are they planning to add that in the future as part of the map? Yeah, here they are again. I mean, that's it's already there for you. All right, so far so good. I'll take it. And looks like we're about to get to our final stop right up here on the right. There we go. All right, so let's hit F3. Okay, this must not be the final stop because obviously everybody's not getting off. All right, anybody outside? Okay, nobody who appears to be getting on anyway. All right, there we go. All right, speed limit is up to 70 right through here. I hit another pothole and totally, oh, there's another one. Yeah, I'm going to have to see those a lot earlier than I'm seeing them right now. I have to pay a little bit more attention, it looks like. Another pothole. We luckily missed that one. All right, let's don't hit anything. Okay, we made it. Okay, now we're back to the small town atmosphere. Let's see, we got looks like one, two people waiting at this particular stop. Oh, wait, there's a couple more hiding behind the signage. All right, let's see what we got. Yep, you need some tickets. All right, so you want a weak ticket? Just one of them? I like that kind of change. All right, single, regular, you got it. Okay, looks like we got everybody. All right, and we are off. Okay, looks like we got one more right hand turn here. All right, let's see if we can do this one without taking out any light poles or cars. And I think we just managed to do it. Ooh, easy now, people. I thought they were going to walk right out in front of me. All right, now that lady right there looks just like our instructor from the very beginning. Yep, and she wants to buy a ticket. All right, 
let's check. Oh yeah, we're definitely emptying out now. Which you would expect something like this to happen as you get outside of town. Uh, and of course we haven't even really gotten into the downtown stuff yet. We haven't opened that up. But you would expect once you get into the smaller town type of atmosphere, you'd have fewer people uh, more than likely going to be riding along. All right, now we're coming up to what I believe is going to be our final stop. Oh, how did I miss that pothole? All right, let's try to pull in without hitting anyone. No, this obviously will not be final stop. I'm going to quit guessing because it's very clear that I have no idea. All right, exact change. Thank you very much. All right, what do we need? We need a day ticket, regular. You got it. All right, I think that's it. Okay, I believe we are all set. So yeah, I'm just going to quit guessing at which one is our last stop. I'll think it, but I won't say it. Okay, once again, this looks like a tremendous opportunity for us to hit stuff and get hit. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of traffic right here. Okay. So now we've got, from the left, they've stopped. We're letting all the people turning come through. This is very nice and orderly, considering there are no lights to speak of. Okay, we're going. Let's go. Ah, hit the curb. Hit the curb. Ah, right, let's see. Where is our next stop? Looks like it's right over here. There we go. All right, let's see what we got. And there we go. Looks like everybody's heading out. Of course, that is my signal that we are on our final stop that and it tells me I need to clean up after someone there it is oh can I get back here like I, there we go we were able to click it from there we have uh, wow go go gadget arms to catch it from there all right so we've got everything we need let's go ahead and hop back on board and of course we are not going to try to drive it back we're instead going to hit end okay we had a few negatives there hit some potholes and a curb. We're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, the good news for me is, wow, look over here. It didn't take away any money for that. I like it. Okay, so we've unlocked some new items, an interesting looking wrap, and then a new color. Okay, I like this color. Blue is my color anyway, so I like that. And look at that. We've a plus two on several. In fact, all of them but one. All right, I like that. So we're up to, whoa, look at nines. Yikes. That's a lot. Nines, fours, threes. Okay, good. Good. And plus, $27,890.96. The three fairy dodgers, I'm just not going to worry about. It takes too long to constantly try to catch those. So it's not enough of a deal for me to really worry a whole lot about it. Just because of the time it's, it's going to take to do all that. All right, so I am very happy. Look at that. 247 passengers. Some nice money from our uh, AI drivers, wages, maintenance, all the normal stuff. $49,000. So we are very close to $50,000 50, every trip, trip we make. Okay, that takes care of the round trip. And now we need to create a route. Uh, in fact, but first, before we do that, let's, you know, hold on just a minute. Hold on, let's go to the shop. So we got 146. Okay, that one's 158. 
this seems like just too much right now. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of room, no doubt, but that is a huge jump. 158 to 240 is a monstrous jump. So, yeah, that's this looks more like what we would get in, in an, an actual urban area that we haven't unlocked yet. Okay, so we're almost there with this one. That's, that's what I was looking for. And realistically, we could probably do just fine with another one of these, uh, quite frankly. But for now, we'll come back to our route planner. All right, have a route with a maximum of seven stops. And let's see, which, what all do we need to connect here? Uh, let's go ahead and keep that one up here. Okay, so let's do a new route. So unfortunately, we're running low on time. I didn't get quite as far as I wanted to. Uh, that that actual driving that route took quite a while. Uh, of course, that's what you sort of get into with a round trip deal. All right, so we need to start. I guess we'll just start at the top here. Minimum two stops here. So let's see what makes the most sense. I think this makes the most sense. We'll go there to there. Okay, and then we'll pick up. Um, it says one stop there. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to make both of these. We've got a total of seven that we can do. And then we need to come over to the business park. And uh, let's do this and this. Okay, that way, again, just trying to, to keep from making as, as, you know, as few turns as we can get by with. Okay, let's go ahead and All right, I think we got that, didn't we? Have a route with a maximum of seven stops. All right, edit this route. Okay, so we got six. All right, I must be missing something. All right, minimum two stops there. One and two. And then, oh, I see what it doesn't like. Okay, I see. It says one stop. So it doesn't say minimum or maximum. I don't, maybe it doesn't like the fact that I've got two. So let's get rid of that. All right, and then we've got minimum of two stops over here. And which we have. Uh, why don't you like that? Okay, now save it now. And no, nope, you don't like that. Okay, I'm obviously looking at something completely wrong. Okay, minimum two stops here, which there's one and two. I'm I'm missing something. I feel like it's going to be extremely simple for me to to pick up, and I'm just not picking it up. Okay, so we've got our one stop here. Okay, which is stop number three. So far, so good. And then we've got the business park over here. So we've got what they're calling the spokes here. All right, so what are what am I missing? I have no idea. Okay, well, unfortunately, we have run out of time for me to play around with this. So we'll leave it here for now, and at some point, hopefully between now and our next video, I can figure out why it doesn't like this. So I'll go ahead and save that for now, because it should give us credit for that. And then the next thing is drive the route, but who knows? I'll try to figure this out. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we will continue our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18.